I talked to um, former baller of the month, Zach Phelps, uh, for Saginaw Valley State um, over the half. And he says that when they came into this game, uh, they had it was all about revenge. Um, they said they did not bring their best roster to JMU Beast, but it was no excuse. Uh, they did not play well. And uh, as soon as they found out that they were playing WKU, that Western Kentucky was on their roster, that it all became about revenge. They said, forget the seeding. Uh, I, this is what he said. He said, forget the seeding, forget everything. He said, we just want to beat them. It's just that simple. Um, I, th I think you're going to see Western this half really play with that chip on their shoulder that Saginaw Valley had in the first half. And a really quick elimination by number 20, even though we just went out um, on number... It was Poblinski. Poblinski, it was yeah. Poblinski. And he's one of, the, in my opinion, the most undervalued players um, in this league. He is so one many of, clutch catches. So many clutch catches and one of the best blockers. One of the best blockers. He reminds me a little bit of uh, 3.14 for Kent State. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I, don't, just, I, I just forgot his Colin name. Pye. I just this forgot his Pye. name, and he just played with us today. Cameron, Billy Cameron. Billy Cameron. Okay. Billy Cameron. Billy Cameron reminds me a lot of Billy Cameron. Um, and a quick elimination maybe shows a tempo change from here for WKU in the second I'm half. I'm telling you, Western's going to play with a reckless abandon. That's exactly how I would tell this team to play. You're down 4 nothing. The game's seemingly out of reach, so why not go ahead and play like you have nothing to lose? Because you don't. You're absolutely right. Um, not only does West WKU have nothing to lose, but they're playing the chip on their shoulder. Um, you're WKU, playing for, you're yes, playing for yeah. pride at this point. It's absolutely right. Um, WKU is not a team like Penn State or Andula that can say, hey guys, this is our first match of the year, don't expect a lot from us. WKU has shown when they play well, they can compete with the best of the best in this league. Unfortunately today, they just haven't showed it. It's just not their day. It's not their day. It's not their day, and another kill on Felix Perone, it was right in his mitts, um, but I'm sure that injury came into play a little bit. And what you're really seeing right now is the Western players are putting so much more juice on their throws. Like you'll Absolutely. see Austin Debray just literally about came out of his skin right there with that throw. Uh, these guys are pissed. Um, to be quite honest. Another way of putting that is they throw with their entire body. Yeah. Their absolute entire body. And an elimination by number 22 Butcher of Saginaw Valley. I'm sorry, he eliminated number 13 of WKU on a great cross court throw. Something, in my opinion, that is undervalued in this league, the value of a great cross-cross-court thrower. It is not easy because usually the opposite team, they're not going to be up unless they have a ball, and that's when you really get pinpoint accuracy comes into effect with uh, both teams. The best teams take advantage of fast counterattacks and cross-court throws. Well, that's a recipe 13. for success that the four. Michigan teams in general have ridden to you know several national championships. I think now uh, yeah. six in a row. And, and number four, our ref. So that's Kat Takeda. Kat Takeda. Number four, Kat Takeda. That's the three or four like shots that I would have taken and be like, ow oh, man, this really hurt, and just walk it off like a champ. Sorry, not even walk it off. She just stood still and not moved, and I feel like I'd be aching in well, pain of how hey, terrible that was. Listen to the uh, alumni podcast well, to find out how big of a badass. Yeah, that was. oh yeah, that's what I hear. Man. Yeah, she is really. I think it's I think it's fair to say, and this is not being uh, subjective or anything. If you have um, a sister, I say Doc is a really tell right now, relatively. Um, man, male dominated me. Um, I think from what I have seen, and I don't, um, of like the teams that really play a lot, uh, he got a lot of games, I think my team Towson is one of the only ones that carries females on their starting 15, I believe. Um, if you have a female that comes back uh, Northwestern from alumni, State, or Northwestern State yeah, does, yeah. yes. They, have, uh, they are usually very dedicated members. Of seniors. I'm telling you, I'm, and it's stuck to the fact that a lot of females that just don't have the arm power yeah. that males are thinking, and that's not being discriminatory at all. It's, it's just it's just how it is. Bye. And let me tell you something, we grow as, as hard as we can in practice at our girls, and it's definitely undervalued the, yeah. um, of a great female, you know, because they can be deceptive, because teams can say, you know what, they, they, not the strongest They underestimate it. Absolutely. And they shouldn't. They shouldn't, no. Anyone on that court um, to me is even. Shanice um, Pierce Theron is her name. And she has caught like the best throwers. Um, she almost caught 
um, number one uh, from Kentucky when we saw that the uh, like right there, right in her midst and just missed it. She is not afraid of anyone. She has been in the face a million times, and they, she, she's walks from it like a champ. And it's definitely undervalued um, of a, a good female role on the team. Yeah, Western, I believe, has just had two females actually play in games for them. So okay, we still good have some we still have some room to grow in that area. Yep. I would love to see some females hey. come out. But uh, I would. Kind of getting back to the game here. I think the teams number wise are relatively pretty even. even. Yeah, maybe WK with a small advantage. One thing I've noticed about Saginaw in, in my years watching them is they are a very, very lightning quick team when they get in the neutral zone. It's like they are moving in fast motion. Absolutely. Uh, a great block by number 22. Is that Phelps? I don't know. I forget. Uh, a W. I'm sorry. Great block by 22. Of Saginaw he Valley, even though he just went out. Um, and actually, WKU looks like they are picking up strong momentum here saying to Saginaw Valley, you will not embarrass us today. You will not shut us out. No, exactly. It's pride. I mean, it is pride. You see how many points you can get, and you don't worry about what happens. Absolutely. Um, Josh, I'm not sure if you've ever seen the Bad News Bears. No, I have not. Or, or, or the Bench Warmers. The Bench, bench warmers, 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 yes. At the end, when they're like, we are we're not shut out, when the team <laughs> finally gets a that's the home what, run. That's yeah. Western right that now. That is WKU right now. Um, I think... I think they have realized, okay, it's not our day. Let's live to fight another day. Um, but, yeah, it's absolutely a matter of pride at this point. And the last thing you want to do is have knockoff defending national champions and then see them at nationals and get to know them. It's worst case scenario. 13. And we'll see what Lester can do here. They have some... Uh some new faces on the court right now. They uh, do. Their two captains uh, are out at this point. Uh, but uh, oh, it's and Austin Dupree. That's a big loss there for Western. Austin, the player, right before halftime, who uh, who went out yeah. on the controversial call. Hey. The controversial call. The greatest thing about this sport is it's such a subjective call when it comes to us. Oh, and that's a great catch by number two Popped it up of in the Western air. Kentucky. That is huge, huge. Number 17, Tanner Boatwright going down there for Weston. And I'm really amazed, John, by how even after two games today, these teams are just throwing as hard as, as they can. As hard as they the can. speed in a third game of National hey. Saturday. Amazing. It's unbelievable. Um, 13. I think there it is it becomes, it's the adrenaline rush. I, I really do believe it's the adrenaline rush. And in a game like, you know, we play tournaments like all the time. But, oh, okay, if you win, you win. Okay. If you lose, you lose. But and you know, there's no, like, elimination. It's just you play the teams to get better for nationals. Yes, at, at this point, you are playing as for as high of a seeding as you can get. Um, I'm not sure who, how WKU has fared the rest of today. Um, but they're 2-0 uh, coming in. They're 2-0 coming in. They're two and and they beat in. DePaul and Ohio State. Oh, two great wins. Yeah. And our table almost got knocked out there. Um, but the last thing the last thing you want to do with the WKU um, is get embarrassed in the last game of the day against a team that you had beat earlier this year. It would not be a good. If they can come back here and score a couple points, uh, I think that would be a moral victory hey. going into Sunday. Absolutely. You don't want to have your morale. Wow. Yeah. You can take the loss, just don't have your morale crushed Trust. in the process. And a perfect example of that is the Kentucky-Michigan State game earlier today. Kentucky goes up 3-0, and Michigan State, they tied it up 2 uh, they, 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 I'm sorry, they Baby. got two points back, and it was 3-2. Well, so it was 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. Well, well, not a whole lot of time left like in the game. like three minutes. But it was just, um, I talked to Sam Hiller of Michigan State. Oh, and a great catch by number two, Western Kentucky. On fire this point. Anyway, I was talking to Sam Hiller. I was like, you know, I was like, it would have been really bad if they had beaten us, like four one or something like that, and like really a top a top team crushed them. But when you lose three two, at least you know, you know what? We can, you know, it, we started off slow, but we ended well, and we can beat this team tomorrow. And that is the first step Western needs to take right here with 16:35 left in this half. They claim their first point, so uh, we will be back in the sixth point. Sac Valley leads four to one.